Hi, I'm Jack from legalexpert.co.uk and today I'm going to be talking about Subway wet floor injury claims process. Now it's important that you should know that you may be entitled to free private medical treatment for an injury following a Subway wet floor accident from specialists local to your area. Also if needed, you could receive guidance and advice from one of our panel of private specialists who might suggest a more specific method of recovery. Now certain treatments can be costly, but if your accident was caused by someone else, you could be entitled to access these treatments without having to pay a single penny. Now the use of one of these may allow your injuries to heal quicker. Injuries from these types of accidents may differ. As no two injuries are the same, speaking to a private specialist without having to worry about any hefty medical fees, well, that could make all the difference in terms of your recovery. If you've had an accident that was not your fault, you could qualify for free injury treatment following a subway wet floor accident from a specialist in your local area. Contact us to find out if you're eligible for free private treatment from a specialist that may also include physio treatment if needed by calling our free phone helpline on 0800 652 7676. We're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we offer a no win, no fee service. Now, let's take a look at the claims process for your accident. Now, if you have any questions or requests, let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, please do hit that thumbs up button, as this will help us see what type of content people find helpful. If you've sustained an injury following a subway wet floor accident, it will no doubt be a very stressful time. Not only may you be worried about medical costs, but the injuries which you received may have resulted in you being forced to take time off work in order to recover. Thankfully, when something like this happens, victims in these circumstances are often able to cover the costs associated with dealing with an injury by bringing a personal injury claim. Now, bringing a claim can be daunting, so I'm going to break down a couple of steps which should make the process go a lot smoother and help ensure your success when claiming. This is the legalexpert.co.uk 2019 Claims Process Guide. Step 1. Claim in time. We can't stress how important it is that you bring a claim for compensation as soon as possible. For most personal injury claims, there is a three year time limit where you're only able to claim within three years of the accident occurring, or if you were under 18 years old when the accident happened, you'll have three years from the date of your 18th birthday. There are a few very rare circumstances where you may be able to bring a claim outside of this window, but this is only in exceptional circumstances. An example being if you've been in a coma, making it impossible for you to bring a claim. Step two. You should take photographs of the accident location and if possible what it was that specifically caused the accident and anything else you believe may be relevant in demonstrating how the accident happened. If it was a road traffic accident, take photographs of all of the vehicles involved in the accident. If it was a workplace accident, take photographs of what caused your injury and the injury itself. For example, if you trip over a loose cable, take a photograph of the cable. Or if you were burned, take a photograph of your burn. If it was a slip, trip or fall, take a photograph of what caused your fall and the surrounding area. For example, if it was a wet floor that you slipped on, take photographs of the floor itself and the lack of any warning signs. Or if it was a defect in the pavement, take a photograph of the defect using a 50 pence piece in order to demonstrate the size of the defect. Step 3. Report the accident. If the accident happened on the site of your place of work or at the premises of a business like a shop or a bar, you should ensure that an accident report is completed in the site's accident report book. Ask to check this over at the time to ensure that it correctly details how the accident happened and make a note of who it was that you dealt with. If it was a road traffic accident, depending on the circumstances, it may be vital that it is reported to the police, especially if the other driver fled the scene or doesn't have insurance. A claim may only be able to be made if an accident of this nature is reported to the police within 48 hours of the accident occurring. Step 4. Collect witness information. If anybody witnessed the accident, ask them for their contact details as a statement in support of your case may need to be taken. If it was a workplace accident, one of your colleagues may have been present when the accident happened. If so, make a note of who was there as your accident may not have been caught on CCTV, but if it was, also make a note of this. 
If you were involved in a road traffic accident, witness information may be vital when it comes to claiming. Ask anybody that witnessed the accident for a copy of the contact details should a statement need to be taken at a later date. Step 5. We can't stress how important it is that you have your injuries assessed by a medical professional and make a note of when and where this assessment took place, as the records from this assessment may be vital in helping you receive the compensation that you're entitled to. Step 6. It's important you keep track of any expenses that you've incurred because of the accident. They may be claimed back as part of your compensation sum. This includes any loss of income from time off work or the loss of any potential future earnings, the cost of any possessions which were damaged as a result of the accident, along with any medical costs. Step 7. Speak to a claims specialist like legalexpert.co.uk. We believe it is vitally important to the success of your claim that it is handled by someone with experience in dealing with personal injury claims in order for your claim to reach its full potential and for you to receive a just and fair amount of compensation. If you deal with a skilled personal injury claim specialist, they'll do all the heavy lifting and fight to get you the compensation that you deserve. When bringing a claim for compensation, it can sometimes take a little longer than we'd all like when getting a victim the compensation that they deserve, but by instructing a professional with a strong record to handle your claim, you'll be able to focus on your recovery whilst they deal with getting you the compensation that you deserve as soon as possible. Now, if you wish to bring a claim for a subway wet floor accident, we're happy to tell you that we offer a completely free zero obligation consultation where we'll talk through your subway wet floor accident injury in order to help you establish what your options are. You can speak to us by calling our free phone helpline on 0800 652 7676 or by visiting our around the clock live chat service at legalexpert.co.uk. We're open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and we offer a no win, no fee service which means that if your claim was to lose then there's not a penny to pay. So if you've been involved in a subway wet floor accident which has resulted in an injury and you believe that you're entitled to compensation, we'll be more than happy to hear from you. Now you should bear in mind that if you're successful in your claim for compensation, the cost of any private treatment should be covered, as well as any loss of income from time off work which may be claimed back for when bringing a claim for compensation. If we take your case on, we'll be more than happy to put you in touch with a medical specialist in order to further aid your recovery should you require any further treatment and aim to find you one in your area so that you're not having to go out of your way. We'll go over how many feet does a wet floor sign cover, compensation for falling in supermarket, slip at work claim, slip and fall injury, can I claim for falling downstairs at work, falling on concrete floor and slipped on wet floor at work. Of course, the circumstances of each incident are never the same. And whether or not you believe you have a valid claim, it's always advisable that you speak to an expert on the matter. So if you'd like further assistance, we are personal injury claim specialists. We offer free, friendly advice on no win, no fee compensation claims, so there's not a penny to pay if you lose. Get the maximum compensation that you deserve. We're rated 4.8 out of 5 stars and we have specialist solicitors with up to 30 years experience. It'll only take just a couple of minutes for our team who'll be happy to answer any questions you may have to help establish whether or not you have a valid claim. Call now on 0800 652 7676 or visit our live chat service at legalexpert.co.uk. Don't forget to subscribe as we'll be uploading helpful videos just like this one on a regular basis. You can also check out one of our recommended videos or head over to legalexpert.co.uk where you can read community questions on our forum, get free advice from our live chat, read articles and seek assistance for compensation on a no win no fee basis with your personal injury claim.